Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Greninqua and I am going to be talking about amino acids today. As you can see, we're going, to learn, we're going to learn the definition of amino acids, the contents of amino acids, the role that amino acids play within our bodies, and the reaction that amino acids has with formaldehyde. Okay, so amino acids are a simple organic compound containing nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. Um, it also contains the group, um, carboxyl group, which, and the amine group. Amino acids play a significant role within our bodies. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. Um, a large proportion of our cells, muscles, and tissues are made up of amino acids, meaning they carry out many important bodily functions, such as given cell structure. Um, they also play a key role um, in the transport and storage of nutrients. They have an influence on the function of organs, glands, tendons, and arteries. They are essential for healing wounds and repairing tissue, especially in our muscles, bone, skin, and hair. Um, they are also um, essential in the removal of, kinds of, of all kinds of waste deposits produced in connection with the metabolism. Now, there are 20 different amino acids, but only 10, well, let me take that back. There are many different amino acids, um, but our bodies need about 20, need 20 of the amino acids. Now, we only uh, produce 10 amino acids within our body, so the other 10 will come from the foods that we eat or supplements that we take. Um, it is our body is unable to store the, the other 10 amino acids that we have to get from food, so we must eat daily. Okay, so amino acids contain, like I said in the beginning, amino acids contain the carboxyl and amine group. Um, the carboxyl group is made of one carbon and two oxygen atoms. The carboxyl group has a negative charge since it is an acid. Um, it has lost its hydrogen atoms. Um, the second carbon is connected to the amine group. Amine means there is an NH2 group bonded to the carbon atom. Um, amine is an organic compound derived from ammonia by the replacement of one or more hydrogen atoms by the um, organic group. I do want to know, I did not include in the, in the slide, I'm just, I am sorry about that. Um, carboxyl is an acid, amine is a base um, coming together. They make amino acids act as and buffer. Um, the carboxyl acid within the carboxyl group contains neutralizing agents, which is uh, the primary application of a bombing. Uh, amines are organic compounds containing the element nitrogen. Nitrogen compounds comprise not only the building blocks, but also the decomposition products of the human remains. Um, the carboxylic acid and amine base neutralize once embalming the eel. Okay, so like I said, amines do release um, nitrogen, which um, comprises not only the building blocks, but also works in the de decomposition um, of human remains. Um, at this stage, putrefaction or putrefaction begins. Um, as the body is starting to decompose, um, the embalm as the body is starting to decompose, the embalming agents, which contain um, some of the carboxylic acid agents, will neutralize in this process. Um, carboxylic acid helps neutralize um, because it contains the organic salts. It works as a water conditioner, an anticoagulant, and deodorizes. Um, the smell that is released when nitrogen is released. Um, so um, amino acid, like I said in the beginning, is a building block um, of protein. Formaldehyde is also a building block. So they will react in the same manner, helping produ preserve the proteins by delaying the embalming process. Now, if the body is in a higher stage, I guess you could say decomposition, 
Um, it does take more formaldehyde. So it is important for the embalmer to know the state of which the decomposing body is in because um, the more the the more protein has broken down, the more formaldehyde you will have to use to help um, preserve um, the proteins that haven't been broken down. Um, again, this is Greniqua. Thank you for looking at this slide. I hope you've learned a lot. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.